Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is GM mustard. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. On 15th of April 2025, the Supreme Court of India will begin hearing pleas filed by environmentalists against the commercial cultivation of GM mustard in the country. Now let's discuss about GM mustard. Genetically modified GM mustard, specifically DMH11, is developed by researchers at the University of Delhi's Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants. The hybrid variety is a cross between Varuna and early Hira2 mustard. It incorporates three new genes, Panes, Bastar, and Bar genes to enable hybrid seed development and tolerance to herbicides like glufosinate. Approved by the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee in 2022, GM mustard has become a point of contention in India. Now let's talk about GM mustard and the impact on biodiversity. Despite GM mustard's approval, it faces strong opposition from environmentalists, public health advocates, and certain sections of the scientific community. Critics argue that GM crops could crossbreed with native varieties, leading to biodiversity loss and the creation of new, potentially harmful weed species. The risks associated with herbicide-tolerant GM crops include ecological imbalances, pest resistance, and the unpredictable effects on human and animal health. Now let's discuss about historical context. Bt Cotton's failures. Bt Cotton was the first genetically modified crop introduced in India and it faced multiple issues over the years. Though initially promoted for its pest resistant properties, Bt Cotton's impact has been far from positive. Farmers have reported declining yields and increased pest attacks making them dependent on pesticide use. The introduction of Bt cotton also led to environmental side effects such as the cessation of honey production, impacting local pollinators. In addition, the rise in seed prices and farmer indebtedness has been linked to Bt cotton's commercial rollout. Now lastly moving on to legal and procedural gaps. One of the critical issues surrounding the implementation of GM mustard is the absence of clear and robust regulatory frameworks. India lacks statutory guidelines to assess herbicide-tolerant crops, which raises concerns over the validity of the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee's approval process. The Supreme Court's directive in 2024 required the government to formulate a national policy on GM crops, highlighting the procedural lapses in the approval of GM mustard. Furthermore, critics argue that public participation was insufficient in the decision-making process. The debate over GM mustard highlights the need for a balanced approach to agricultural biotechnology. While GM mustard may offer certain benefits in terms of yield improvement and herbicide resistance, its environmental and economic risks must be carefully evaluated. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about GM mustard. 1. GM mustard has been developed by researchers at Banaras Hindu University's Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants. 2. The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee has established clear and legally binding protocols for the approval of all GM crops in India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.